What's up, Internet? Welcome to the tutorial of, of how to make a water sphere in Blender. Let's get started. First, let's delete this cube, add a UV sphere. Let's change the segment to 16 and the range to 10. And we're going to change the Blender render to Cycles Renderer. And I'm going to add a new material. I'm going to name this material Water Sphere. For the surface shader, we're going to use a mix shader. The first shader we're going to use is a diffuse shader, and the second one is a glass shader. For the color of the diffuse shader, we're going to type 0 0.071, 0 0.234, and 0 0.800. For the color of the glass shader, we're going to type 0 0.904 and 0 0.904. For the factor, we're going to use 0 0.673. OK, so now let's add a displace modifier. Create a new texture. In the texture tab, we're going to use clouds texture and change the strength of the modifier to 0.3. And I'm going to change the text coordinates to object and press Shift A, create a new cube drag it over and insert a keyframe of location change the end frame to 60 scroll over to 60 frame and move it over a bit just a bit and instead insert another keyframe select the cube again and in the object tab select the cube and let's do a preview Okay, good. Drag another 3D viewport, change the viewport to graph editor, and select the cube. Press T and select linear. Drag it down. And let's add, oh, right. Let's disable the render of the cube so that it won't appear in the final video. Now, Let's add a circle. Let's position it in the center of the sphere. Scale it up a bit. And move the camera over. Press 0 to reposition the camera. Tweak the position of it. And select the camera and the circle. Press Ctrl P and choose follow path. Select the curve in the curve tab. In the frames we're going to type 600 frame. Okay, let's do it. Hmm, that's good. That's what we want. Last few steps. In the word setting, click use nodes. In the color we choose sky texture. And in the render setting, change it to 100%. Use CPU or GPU, whatever, which one suits you best. Um, and one more thing. In the light path, make sure that the filter gloss is set to 0.5 so that it, won't, it will illuminate some, um, eliminate some uh, uh, noise. OK. Let's, now let's just press Shift Z and see what we got here. Great. Good. Let's click animation and see the results. So this is the final render. I kind of like the effect. If you like this video or want to see more of my videos, please subscribe. I'll see you soon. Bye bye.